Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be the greatest day of your life. I wanted to start today with some motivational weight loss stories. I want to tell you, I used to be 350 pounds. It was hard for me to get around. I'm already handicapped, um, you know, partially paralyzed on the left side of my body. So it was hard for me to maneuver around, get around, shower, things like that, just self-care. And I wasn't happy. And I made a decision to lose some weight. I cut sugar out of my diet and the weight just kind of fell off. It's amazing. I think sugar is a poison. And if you can cut sugar out of your diet, I think it'll change a lot of things for you. Um, I just have that belief from personal research and also personal experience. I haven't had any sugar in my diet now for almost a year. I've lost a tremendous amount of weight and I really feel good. And taking care of yourself feels great. But you know, when I started losing weight, it felt like a constant uphill battle. You know, shedding stubborn pounds and getting healthy can be a lot of hard work. And during a plateau or at the beginning of the weight loss journey, that's when it's most important to get motivated. I want to share with you some a few inspirational stories that are related to weight loss. I hope they inspire you to maybe engage in some self-care and if you decide to, um, make some changes. Remember, before you make any drastic changes, always consult your healthcare provider first just to make sure it's going to be safe for you. I want you to take care of yourself, but I also want it to work out in the best way it can for you, so you can be the best you that you can be. And I care about you, and you know what, I believe in you. Let's start with the first story. It's called Unstoppable. Extreme Makeover features a celebrity trainer helping very overweight individuals reach their weight loss goals, right? And I'm sure you've probably seen that show, so am I. But you know, sometimes their attitudes aren't great. But other times, the people on the show are truly amazing. Like, there was one person, and I remember her name is Sarah. And Sarah was a little person standing only four foot five inches tall. She was a nutrition speaker on local television shows at the start of her journey, but ashamed of herself. Um, not only had she spent her life dealing with her short stature, but she had suffered greatly at the hands of her sister. Um, she turned to eating, and by the time she was 37 years old, she weighed over 200 pounds. Now, when she began her time on Extreme Makeover, her first challenge was to climb the stairs of an amphitheater holding an 80-pound weight. The stairs came up past her knees, but she didn't complain once. She kept going. Slowly, all the people in the theater started to watch her, and by the time she reached the last step, the crowd was cheering her on. Her trainer gave her the goal to run a half marathon six months after she started her diet and exercise program. Sarah said no. She wouldn't run the half. Instead, she would run the full marathon. Her trainer advised against it because it would be extra hard on her body. She'd have to take many extra strides during, due to her short stature, but Sarah didn't care. She ran the whole damn marathon. I love it. Good way to go, way to go, Sarah. And she succeeded in losing more than half her body weight and becoming a lifetime runner. She runs now as a part of her normal daily activity. And that's something that she had always dreamed about. But due to her stature and other people's opinions, she never made that dream a reality. When she stopped listening to the crap other people are saying and started building her own dreams based on her own personal desires, she achieved her goals and is now living the life that she wants to live. Now, if she can do it, so can you. The next story I want to tell you is called Winning the Battle. Adrian Brown shared her weight loss journey with good housekeeping. And Adrian loved to eat and was a bit food obsessed. You know, as an adult, she owned two refrigerators stocked with food. She would all, she already weighed um, 180 pounds when her weight shot up as she battled breast cancer. Now, Adrienne got serious about her health during her battle with cancer. And inspired by Jennifer Garner in Alias and determined to be healthier, Adrienne lost 90 pounds in a year by eliminating processed foods 
and exercising. She made it manageable by breaking her goal into 10 pound increments and keeping a positive attitude. You know, and we talk about that here too on the channel, right? About breaking up our goals into manageable pieces so that they don't overwhelm us. And if you have a negative attitude, you will have negative things in your life. But if you maintain a positive attitude, you can do nothing but attract positive things into your life. And you know what? If Adrian can do it, so can you. And I have one more story I want to tell you, and it's called The Weight Was Wrong. And I think this will be about somebody that you'll know uh, quite well, actually. He's a very inspirational individual. He's a great human being, and I, I just think very highly of him. And it's Drew Carey. You know, he spent much of his career in the spotlight, and fans of this actor remember him as the overweight star on The Drew Carey Show. But now you know that he shocked everybody by appearing at his new job as the host of The Price is Right, a full 80 pounds lighter. You know, there was no magic trick to his weight loss. Carey lost weight the old-fashioned way by counting calories and logging 45-minute cardio sessions on the treadmill. Remember, you don't have to try the latest fad, you know, the three-day military diet or the only drink water for three months or whatever the new fad is. You know, just find what works for you and then stick with it. And little by little, you will reach your weight loss goal. I guarantee it. It can be no other way. Care for yourself and your body will take care of you. Remember to consult your medical professional if you have any concerns or questions related to weight loss. I know they'll be more than happy to help you out. And hey, I'm going to be here every day sharing positive vibes, positive information, and making the right recommendations that you could easily incorporate to build a better life for yourself. I want to see you be the best you that you can be. Because you know, out of the billions of people on this planet, you're unique. And only you can be you. It's amazing. You're so unique that only you can be you. So all the great tools, everything that's wonderful inside of you, only you can share that with the world. I invite you to do that today. You know why? Because I care about you and I believe in you. Have a beautiful day, friends. I'll talk to you tomorrow.